Well, nobody likes to leave a party early, but that's the case again for the Alabama men's basketball team as they've been eliminated from the Southeastern Conference Tournament here in Nashville at Bridgestone Arena by the Florida Gators. Ten in a row now that Alabama has suffered uh, at the hands of the Gators, actually 11 straight that Alabama as a program has lost to Billy Donovan and his squad, much publicized, ten in a row now for Coach Anthony Grant. Two questions obviously lie ahead now for this team and this program. Number one, and most pressing, is will they have any more basketball to be played for the 2015 season? There are those that believe the Tide has done enough to get into the NIT. We won't know until that bracket is announced on Sunday night. Whether the Bama uh, season continues or not, there is also the bigger question of will the tenure continue for Anthony Grant. That decision will be made by Bill Battle, the athletic director. There are those that believe the decision has been made and that Coach Grant will indeed get a seventh season, while there are others that will tell you that that decision has not been made yet by the man who heads up the Alabama athletic program. One thing that everybody's in agreement on, whether it's Coach Grant or someone else who's in control of this program, battling to get into the NIT is not what the expectation level is for University of Alabama basketball. A proud, storied tradition, one that for so many years saw the Tide as virtually a lock to be in the Final Four of the SEC tournament, a lock by this point of the year to get into the NCAA tournament field. That hasn't been the case in a while. It's got to change, and we'll know soon whether it'll be Anthony Grant who will be given a seventh year to try to make that change or if it will belong to someone else in their responsibility. I'm Chris Stewart here on Tide991.com.